<laughs> Hi, everybody. How are you all doing? Let's make sure you're not frozen. Okay. Yay! Oh, Chris said good day. Hey, Sarah. Hey, Richard. Hey, Keith. Yay, Keith. Keith is the guy that helps me uh, make sure I'm doing really well here, you know. <laughs> Hey Dave. Just to see if, uh, if my head's chopped off because it's different on Skype to what it is on the uh, on the live video. I know. Yeah, it looks a little different. Uh, maybe you can put something under it. I don't know, but Skype it looks different. There we are. Yeah, it is different. Okay, I've got to, right. got to move back. Okay. All right. We have it set. <laughs> We're just trying. There we go. There she is. That's better. That's much better. Hey, Kutana. Hey, Ingo. Well, welcome back, everybody. It's good to see you all here this afternoon, evening, morning for you, whoever you are, wherever you are. Um, I have a special guest here today. Her name is Trisette. She is from <laughs> Australia. And uh, so I've had two Australians here in the last two weeks, so it's really, really fun. I really love it, and I'm a sucker for accents anyway, so <laughs> I, you probably don't think you have an accent, Trisette, but we do. <laughs> I certainly do in this country, because people can't understand me half the time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks for having me on, Corey. You're welcome. It's, uh, it's so much fun um, having you here, and it looks like, um, I forgot to turn off a couple of things, but that's okay. I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the uh, thing about live uh, video. Uh, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm, uh, Trisette is going to offer a, a digital download of the album we're going to be talking about. And so you got to listen carefully so that you can win. And um, we'll ask you a question about the things that we talk about. So pay attention really close because it's kind of tricky. Hey, Vivi. Hey, Tom. Hey, uh, Michael. It's good to see you, man. Um, a lot of these people that are coming on right now are musicians. There are a few musicians on here. Hey, Joanne. She is. She's a flutist. Hey, uh, Michael. It's good to see you, man. Oh. Ah. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> that was my problem. <laughs> Hey, you know, hey, we just have a great time. You know, hey. Sorry, is it possible for you to um, tag me in this actual live video? Yes, Trisette, let me Trisette do Trisette that Trisette. really quick. And um, then it will go to my um, news feed. For all. I'm going to edit the post here. Hopefully it will let me. If it doesn't, it might kick me off. I don't know. Oh, it might not because it's uh, your Facebook. It's your... Okay. There we I go. Did share... I got it. Yay. Cool. <laughs> All right, guys. Here we go. All right, that worked. Nothing happened, but I'm going to have to bring you back up here, up front, front and center. All right, so hopefully we can get rid of those funny little things. So live video is always really funny because, uh, especially with Skype, because I... Um, for some reason, it, it wants to uh, um, keep all the funny little uh, icons that Skype has on the bottom, and it's really irritating. But, you know, you, you just go with it. So, um, love to you, Jay. Absolutely. So, um, so, tell me about this new album. It's brand new. Well, this is brand new. It's number, I don't know, it's five or six, but... Um, it's a bit of a departure from, it's still pop, but uh, about a year and a half ago I started co-writing and focusing on co-writing with other singer-songwriters and um, producers. And so there were three, there were three main guys that I wrote with over this period of time. Um, Jamie Folds in Canada and Rob Bonfilio here in LA and John Kilchiari in New York. And uh, so it really it was just to do something different and to, to create music in a different way to what I was used to creating music. 
and so I would kind of um, listen to a song that I loved, think about the the theme that I wanted the lyrics to be to to be based around, and <clears throat> I would start with my lyrics and maybe come up with you know the melodic idea, um, send it to the guys or one of the guys at the time who I thought um, I'd like to produce this particular track at the time and you know so we would co-write in that way they'd come back with you know the way they they'd work on it themselves send it back and then we'd we'd go back and forth like this on Skype um, or you know Jamie's here in LA so I'd go to the studio and we would get a finished product within you know a couple of days and it was so exciting because it was just so tangible, you know, um, to have that process happen so quickly. And so over the 18 months, I must have, I think I, we wrote about 15 to 20 songs. And these are, this album I call TRX and J, Trezette, Rob, Jamie Foles doesn't get a mention, but his, he didn't want to be mentioned. Uh, but the vocalist on those songs is Xander Hale, so it's X for Xander, and J for John Kilchiari. Um And so it's really just a collection of my favourite nine of those tracks. That is so cool. I am. Yeah. That is really neat. I've been listening to the album and I really like it. And this is a departure for me because I've been ha um, having all new age. Uh, contemporary instrumentalists on the show since I started, but the Trisette's pop. She is pop singer, 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 songwriter, and she's really good at what she does. So we're going to listen to her first piece, and I'm going to get that set up here, and it's called The Mirror. Look into the mirror. to think it was wrong to look in the mirror and like what I see. Growing up is hard enough, but girls, you listen to me. Look into the mirror.
Wow, that was really cool. I mean, that, that song just got me. I would have been jumping out of this chair, but I have to stay here and monitor everything. But <laughs> that was fun. I was thinking you should have left us on here because we're both <laughs> dancing. That would have been quite entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> hi, David. Hi, Troyce. And hi, everybody else. Because hey, David. Other people. I yeah, a lot see. of people are on. It's, it's really good. I say. Yeah, it's great. it's great. It's totally cool. Um, the comments stopped for me on my computer, but I can see them here on my um, on my uh, phone. Thank you, Joanne. Yeah, that that was a great song, and um, uh, Trisette's doing something really interesting. She um, tell us about um, the USA. I mean, are you living in in Australia right now, or where are you right now? Well, as you know, Corey, I've been coming over here for like seven years or more now. And in fact, a lot of your listeners would be um, friends and fans of Fiona Joy, who I toured with over here for three years in a row. We, were, we had the concept, Two Grand, I'm Yours. Um, and they would never believe it listening to that song, <laughs> that Fiona and I would be a fit. But um, if you listen to my past albums, I'm a pianist, and uh, yeah. we actually worked really well together. I think so. We had a blast. We've got a couple. We've got some, you know, videos of me bagging her out because she's she's good for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she is. She's so, she's a lot of fun. So um, I kind of uh, fell into coming to the U.S. I I met Karen Nash. Um, a you know, darling friend of mine. I met her when I was living in England. She came over from LA to play at a music festival, country music festival. She's a she's a lawyer, plus she's also a great country singer songwriter. Um, and so that's how we met. And then I started coming over here and working with her husband Bob Malone, and um, who has been my mentor ever since. And he plays. For John Fogarty, but he's also an amazing, crazy, great singer-songwriter and pianist himself. Um, so we tour together. Uh, sometimes I also sing, sing backing vocals for him. We're going to Italy in July. Yay! <laughs> to do it for the Umbria Music Jazz Music Festival for ten days. Um, so I was I've been wanting to live over here now uh, for years, but it's kind of a process because you have to. Um, you know, I, I got my O one visas for the touring and, uh, you know, I guess I probably just wasn't ready because it wasn't just happening for me to actually live here. It's, mm -hmm. you know, it's not easy. You've got to uproot yourself and you've got to be able to actually um, get some place to live and, you know, it all takes it all takes uh, a lot of time and money. And so finally the, the time is just right, I think. And uh, I have a three-year visa now, and which I can extend. Um, I'm also, you know, doing the green card lottery every October. <laughs> <laughs> so it's great. It just feels right. That's awesome. I am so happy that you're here. You're about an hour north of me now, so that's pretty cool. That's uh, a lot closer than Australia. Yeah, it is. Um, I would have yeah. to take, what, the 25-hour flight? I don't know, depending on... No, <laughs> <laughs> Probably 14. Oh, 14. Only 14. Only 14. It's okay. kind of 15, 16 going over and 13, 14 coming back. It's, okay. You know, you get the tailwind coming back. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. I I don't know. I I think I would... I, I, I can't sleep on planes or trains or anything, so I think I would be a, like a complete mess. Uh, well, visiting. I've got the secret, and it's no secret, but sleeping tablets work wonders and, you know, a couple of drinks with your meal, two movies. You know, I always tell people because a lot of Americans say to me, oh, uh, Australia's on my bucket list, but, you know, that flight, it's so long. And I'm, seriously? <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like two movies, a meal, a couple of glasses of wine and a sleeping tablet. That's all it is. You wake up ready for breakfast and you're there. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. Well, we're going to go to um, the next song called Fall For You. Tell us a little bit about it and then we'll play it. That was the very first one um, that I co-wrote with Rob Bonfilio. And he, he was like, 
I saw him at the Man, Man Festival and he said, I've got to get you into the studio. And I said, well, it just so happens that um, I'm doing some co-writing, so let's write a song together. And he went, yes, come on over. So you, I went straight over the next week and I had these lyrics. I had a bit of an idea of the melody. And um, I've never really sat in a room and co-written with somebody. I find that to be quite daunting. Um, <clears throat> but because I had a fair idea of, of what I wanted with this particular song, I went in and I said, oh, I kind of want it to go like this. And, and I mean, he, Rob Bonfilio, is an amazing singer-songwriter and great with lyrics and great with melodies and he, again, great producer. So um, he just started playing and I started just singing what I had and we just laid it down and we were pretty excited about it because it's just a really fun pop song, this one, really fun little pop song. It's just a love song and I don't mean just a love song, it's a love song. <laughs> All right, guys, here's Fall For You by Trisette. I mean, all of your pieces are very different from when I first, I, you know, I have several of your albums uh, in the beginning when I first heard of you through yeah. Fiona, and um, this, it was a lot of fun, and these are very different. They're extremely upbeat, so much fun. I, I can almost see you dancing and singing in the videos, and I've seen a couple of your videos because I am uh, a member of your Patreon page. And uh, so it's it's a lot of fun. Well, and I think the closest to this one on my uh, Feel So Pretty album was the track Feel So Pretty. Um, and it's kind of what I was going for with that track was to kind of lighten things up. My very first EP when I went to university, 
a long time ago, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I um, I wrote four or five songs, and I got signed to Warner Chapel Music at that point just for that EP. But it was my very all my first recordings, and they were really upbeat. They were all just similar to this, um, which my family and friends all loved. And of course, then when I just started going off and writing in um, a different direction, they weren't as happy about it. So they're really, I guess, they you know this is a return for me to to that. But I've always been, you know what? I've always been an eclectic writer. I've never had just one style and I think I was uh, after university the industry was kind of like you know um, you, you had they wanted to pigeonhole you still still at that point where you needed to have a style you needed to, your albums needed to be sound like you and needed to be in the style of you otherwise you know you didn't get airplay you didn't get a record deal so Having gone through all that, um, I'm now like, you know what? Screw that. (laughs) (laughs) Got to write. And look, I love all the music I've written. Of course, I wouldn't have put it out. But um, now it's back to just writing music, really upbeat, fun music. It's not all upbeat on this album. There's a there's a ballad there that I'm totally in love with. It's called Home to You, and Xander Hale sings it. I co-wrote it with Jamie. Falls and um, that song gives me shivers. So it's not all about being upbeat, but really, it was this album is about throwing caution to the wind, right? Sometimes writing a song to a brief that we might have received for a licensing mm-hmm. you know, uh, request, and we had to write it in 24 hours. So it was like, okay, no hang ups, don't you know, let's just do it. And that really frees you up. Just write some lyrics, go into the studio, make something up. And we did that. I like it. Yeah, the results are amazing. I'm really enjoying the album. You guys can probably um, tell them where everybody can get your music. Um, you, all you have to do is Google Trezette, T-R-Y-S-E-T-T-E, and you'll get me on iTunes, Amazon, Spotify, all the streaming, because when I release music, I release it to CD Baby, and it goes out to all the streaming companies, all the download companies. So awesome. really, you can get it there. You can go to trezette.com, you can get it at CD Baby, everywhere. Pretty awesome. Much. Well, yeah. we're going to feature, d- d- depart from you singing, I think. Um, it's actually featuring Xander Hale. This, yes. this song is called Home to You, and I love this. Oh. The ballad I was just telling you about. I'm so glad you chose that, Corey. It's yeah, outstanding I, to me. I love this because um, uh, it just reminds me of, of uh, a lot of things that are going on here at home. And my husband, he always loves to come home. And so that's why I try to make living here fun for him so he doesn't <laughs> not going somewhere else. But he, he says, I love coming home to you. And so this, this, this song uh, reminds me of that. And I love it. So here we go. It's called Home Thank to You. you. Oh. So good, 
Struck by fear, couldn't see what I should About me, about you, about us The way you love me, I got so scared Well, I'm done now, I'm getting prepared To be true to you To love amazing i really enjoyed that thank you wow. um uh, yeah it it's i don't know i i kind of wrote those lyrics from a male point of view um but xander has i mean jamie's production is just mind-blowing to me oh. and um and the vocal is just yeah, yeah, everything about that song just is just right, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. Just, <laughs> just one of those lucky things. And this is what I love about the co-writing process. It's, oh, she's, come on. It's, um, it's always a better product, you know. It's just, it's always a better product because you've got, you've got the energy and the talent from, from, from other people helping to lift everything to another level. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's it's definitely, I can definitely feel the stamp of other musicians with you, but it's still you, which is really fun. Um, it, there wasn't anything taken from from who you are, and it's just added to who you are, a uh, whole dimension, which is really cool. I, I've watched you, you know, all these past three years when you were touring with um, Fiona, and at this point, it's just, it's fun, fun. I really love the the um, growth that you've had over the past years. And it's just a lot of fun to see that. Thank you so much, Corey. It's just a pleasure to be on this show with you. And thank you for doing this show. I love it. It's no great. problem. It's so much fun. Uh, you guys have a great weekend. And we'll see you next week uh, with Live with Corey. Bye. Bye.